I'm Mimi from littlegrommets.com. First of all, I would never proclaim to be a doctor, but two of my four children have had grommets or ear tube surgery five times between them. So I've put together this series of videos of helpful information on the before, during and after of grommets or ear tube surgery in everyday language. I'll talk about the associated risks and benefits of grommets or ear tube surgery, what to expect and essential aftercare advice. This segment will cover how to prepare for grommets or ear tube surgery on the day. Your hospital will let you know the rules around eating and drinking before surgery. Usually your child mustn't eat or drink anything for 6 to 12 hours prior to admission. The hardest thing is that they can't even have water, sweets to suck or even chewing gum. Anything in the stomach at all increases the chances of an anaesthetic complication. If your surgery is scheduled for first up, first thing in the morning, it's not so bad to just miss breakfast. But if you have an afternoon slot, you really have to work hard with the distractions and you really do need to provide a whole lot of comfort and support. Either way, I advise packing books, games, a drawing notebook and felt pens. Even an iPod, iPad, iPhone or DS is perfect for the sake of distraction. Whatever gets you through, I say. A cuddly toy and any favourite soft sandwich, jelly or biscuit snack for post-surgery is a good idea too, although most hospitals do stock handy supplies of snacks in the post-op or recovery room. In my experience, an admissions nurse from the hospital will contact you before the procedure so you won't be left guessing, but if you do need to ask questions or if information is not forthcoming, it's important that you know precisely what time you are to check in to the surgical facility so you can plan your prep and travel time and of course so you know how long your child needs to fast for. So as well as toys and food, bring all the medical paperwork that you've been given to fill out, any relevant history and if in doubt, just bring it. Make sure your patient is comfy. Pyjamas or a tracksuit are a really good idea. They might need to change into a hospital gown before going into surgery, so something like a button-up pyjama that doesn't have to stretch to go over the head is a really good idea. Don't take any jewellery or paraphernalia in, but definitely do bring a favourite comfort toy. I really hope this segment has been useful. Look out for our next instalment, which is what happens during surgery. I'm Mimi of littlegrommets.com. Thanks for watching.